Welcome to What Is Going On In The UC and today we're going to talk about exile. Are we in exile? So I was talking to a friend of mine, he's, you know, he's reading, he's doing a lot of parallels of history, lecturing and everything, you know, on the weekends and it occurred to him that, you know, um, that we're going through parallels of history. You know, he says that, you know, Father's first 40 years was like the first 400 years and then um, 40 years in the church ruled by judges, the leaders of the church and then uh, the Christian Kingdom 12 years after 1992 and then we went through um, Divided Kingdom HSA and uh, uh, UCI. Now we're in exile where um, authority figures, figures of authority from the true family are not completely trusted by anybody and that uh, uh, pa is parallel to the time when the popes were being pimped around by the French and then the Romans tried to create a, a, a new pope and that pope was rejected and then they, they created a council and all this kind of stuff and then the, the pope finally uh, wrestles back authority from the council and the council was rendered defunct. You know, it got me thinking, you know, what did the, the papacy represent? The papacy represented the same thing that the, the, the tabernacle and the temple were we're supposed to represent. This is a, a focal point of our faith in the absence of the Messiah. The, the tabernacle, the temple, the, 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 the Pope, uh, this is supposed to be the focal point of our faith, a, a place to pour our faith into until the, uh, until the Messiah came. We know that the tabernacle and the temple were substitutes foreshadowing the, the Messiah. Now, the Holy of Holies in the tabernacle, Holy of Holies in the temple, Father told us represent, represents the, uh, you know, the sexual organ, the holy place, right? Where is it that we lost faith? We losing faith in the whole area of sexual integrity. And this is why we are suffering these prolongations of history. How many people talk to you about absolute sex? I do know kids, leaders of blessed children, who do not... Uh, uh, you know, subscribe to the whole teaching of absolute sex the way the father teaches it. They play with it, they twist it, and all this kind of stuff is going on. And a lot of these blessed children are hit with a plague, like, you know, the the, the, the plague in um, medieval, medie medieval times. Parallel to uh, the tabernacle, parallel to the temple and the pope, what is our focal point now? Well, in the absence of true men and women, the focal point would be the closest thing that we have to the ideal is true family. Because the true family, whether they are pure people or not, they are the closest thing in, in form to that which we are trying to um, create worldwide, which is ideal men and women that just totally carpet this planet, right? When we had the papal exile, we had the popes falling into corruption, right? We had, um, you know, idolatry and corruption that, that brought about the, the exile, basically. Idolatry and corruption. What is the lesson to learn in viewing the true family, at, in holding up the true family. Now, some people look at true family in, 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 in terms of, uh, from an angelic point of view, in terms of like, okay, they're supposed to be the ruler of the movement or something like that. But the tabernacle was to give us something to attend an ideal to attend in the absence of the substantiation of it. As we attend true family, what we're really attending is the heart of God, this dream that God and true parents have always been trying to create. That is to create um, sons and daughters through, through absolute sex. Through sex that where, 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 where God and man and woman would meet. And that is why Father constantly talked about absolute sex, the holy place. This whole concept of creating human beings from, from that place. And we're not really talking too much about that. And uh, many of our young people think that, that that message is sort of passe. And it sort of uh, shows us where, where we are. How can you have a true family if you, can, if you do not know that God means to create a true family through absolute sex? You absolutely cannot have a true family. 
we need to know why absolute sex and why the, the, the manner in which human beings are conceived is absolutely positively uh, linked with sharp strong psychology that can overcome anything that's, that Satan throws at us. The battle with Satan is in our mind and if we don't know who we are the whole concept of, of holding true family the whole concept is the parent-child relationship through which we have a sense of self, a sense of honoring who we are, and a sense of, 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 of being in a place, even in our mind, from which we could never fall. Uh, like an infallible psychology. Because we know that Satan is not a flesh and blood person. Satan is a body of, of ideas. He's a light being, you know, he's a being of light. So he tries to get into your head. To have the psychology which is rooted in the parent-child relationship with true parents as our parents, where Satan cannot get in. That is why we must uphold true parents. That's why we must uphold true family. Even if true children don't know what their existence means, we still have to uphold that ideal because that is the thing that overcomes the satanic psychology and the satanic forces that have rendered this world just a horrifying hell. Alright, talk to you later. Bye.